I need to say to you, I need you to help us. Don't let the devil uh, stop us from preaching. Now, somebody wrote the other day and said I was a fire and brimstone preacher. Okay. But don't let, don't let the LGBT crowd, don't let them shut us down here in Harlem. You know, they have spread lies. They have used black pastors and Negro churches and Negro pastors to spread lies from their pulpit of hatred of us here in Harlem. Now, we do talk about them. There's no doubt about that. We outline how weak, how ungodly, how unholy ghosts they are, how far away they are from the word. Uh, these, these Negro preachers in, in Harlem and Negro churches. But we only did that because the LGBT crowd and the, the politicians, the Democrat politicians and all that crowd of liberals have gotten to them and they've used the media and everything to spread lies of hatred of saying we were a hate church. We're not a hate church and you know that we're not. But if you're ignorant and you're a Negro and you're, you know, you're, and you're, or you're white and you're, you're a Chardonnay and sa Caesar salad drinker, uh, Caesar salad eater and uh, Chardonnay drinker, white person, liberal, LGDP, LG, you're gay living here in Harlem. They all hate us and they're trying to shut us down. Don't let them do it. Stand with us, right? Stand with it. You may not agree with everything I say, but you know I speak the truth, even though you don't agree with the truth sometimes. But, I, but don't let them people... Don't let, the, don't let the gay people shut our church down. Send me your, your prayers and your tithings and your offering. Don't let them sh the gay people shut us down. You know, they marched against us. They actually marched against us, had a riot out in front of our church. They marched against us, protested against us many times. And not only that, but one, one night, about 20 of these gay young white men, they were gay, jumped across our church fence and crawled up on our announcement board and wrote on our announcement board whether we have the blood of Jesus. They wrote, God is gay. Well, we just read in Genesis that he's not. But they wrote, they have attacked. Don't stand with me. You, you may you say, Pastor, you know, I, there's some things that you say I don't like. Well, okay. But you know that you, you have the resources, you have the prayer time, and you have the resources, the financial wherewithal to help me to stop these uh, gay people from shutting us down. You have the power and you can do it. Send the gifts. We, you got to do it through the mail address, uh, the snail mail address that we put up on the screen because the gay people went to PayPal and all the bankings went to MasterCard and said, don't take, don't let no money go to Otla through MasterCard or through Visa. So we have to use the snail mail. But there's no problem. You can just write a check and put it in the mail and send it to us. You can do that. Uh, so we, we want to give, don't let these people do this to me. That, that, you, you don't, if, if we fall and you could have helped us by praying or giving financially, you're not going to feel very good about yourself. Don't let them do it. Amen. Stand with us. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, or Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.